Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 62 in the book of Revelation. Uh, today, Babylon has double fallen. Chapter 18, it's Revelation chapter 18, and Babylon falls. In scripture, you always pay attention when it's when you have double words and it says Babylon has fallen, fallen. So the whole of chapter 18 is a dirge. It's a doom song, and here's how it starts. This is chapter 18 of the book of Revelation. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his glory. Probably because he just got done seeing God. And he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. So double fallen is she. She has become a dwelling place for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird. <laughs> A haunt for every unclean and detestable beast, for all the nations have drunk the wine of her sexual, the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. The kings of the earth have committed immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. So let's talk literally first. So who is Babylon? Babylon is a city, uh, ancient city, founded thousands of years ago. It's a, a port city on the Euphrates uh, River, just at the after the confluence of the uh, Tigris and the Euphrates River. It's in Iraq today. It's it's in ruins. There is no physical uh, present city of Babylon. Uh, so there's possibility that physical Babylon is going to be rebuilt and destroyed. That that would be interesting. But certainly, there's a lot of figure figurativeness. Uh, about who Babylon is. So what are her names? It's Babylon, Babylon the Great, uh, the prostitute, the woman, the mother of prostitutes. You, this is all the same uh, entity. And this entity, Babylon, was originally associated with the Scarlet Beast. In fact, Babylon, the woman, rode in uh, on the Scarlet Beast. So this, the evil, all the forces of evil were originally perfectly aligned, perfectly unified against uh, the Lord. And then in chapter 17, the last chapter, a heart was changed and there started to be a rift in this sort of e evil uh, empire uh, as God started to exude his choices and his dominion, his judgment. And so here the beast turns and the alliance begins to hate her. So what is Babylon? So let's talk figuratively. It is a religious system that leaves God out, and it is a behavior system that leaves God out. So let's talk about the religious system that leaves God out. Um, it's a religious system that operates independent of God and even in opposition to God. It's what your heart is set upon. Uh, rather than the person and character of God, we find that it, it's set uh, on to self. It's, it ends up being a works-oriented spiritual uh, system. So how did it start? Babylon. Well, the first story we know about is the Tower of Babel. That's Babel, Babylon. That was in Genesis chapter 11. Let me just read just a, a little bit. Now, the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as the people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had a brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. And then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower. Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. So maybe that's a search for God. Uh, it doesn't specifically say so. And let us make a name for ourselves. There's pride. And make a name. So why was the city built? Why was the tower built? Uh, to make a name for ourselves. They tell you what the purpose is. So I build it. Uh, who builds this tower? I do. I build it myself. I'm in charge. I got this. Maybe I got God in a box. I'm not even going to go after him or I'm going to go after him in my own way. I'm the primary mover. Um, I make a name for myself. So the, the goal isn't God himself. It's the goal is self-self. Um, so it's the striving built on the path to the self. And the Savior has nothing to do with this. It's not really a striving after God. It's a making a name for myself. So the spiritual quest is kind of an anti-spiritual quest. It's a city that has no room for God, uh, with credit to Psalm 10, verse 4. It's an affection of the heart system, so therefore a religious system that's all about self. 
So if you start with the religious system that leaves God out, you're going to end up with a behavior system that leaves God out. That makes sense too. So what are the outcomes if I commit idolatry of my heart and move my heart away from God? Well, you, a couple of things. First, first of all, physically, you get to do what you want with your zip, zipper. So a, you get the sexual system that leaves God out. So this behavior system leaves God out, specifically a sexual system that leaves God out. Uh, the woman made the nations drink the wine of her sexual immorality. So associated with Babylon is, is, is often associated this sexual immorality, the abominations of the impurities of her. Then you get this commercial system that leaves God out. So if you start with the heart that leaves God out, you can do what you want with your wallet and your morals and your ethics and your profit desires. And and Babylon is kind of the Wall Street of the day uh, and represents this profitable economic and commercial system uh, with luxury and profit and, and trade kind of with, with without rules. So you get this economic system that leaves God out. You get this moral system that leaves God out. So Babylon has fallen. Uh, she has to fail. Why is that? So, so we're almost done with Revelation. We're heading towards the, you know, the final chapters. Babylon has to fall. She has to fall. A religious system and a commercial system that leaves God out has to fall. So God is heading towards ultimate victory. God is going to be enthroned here shortly. And all that fails to recognize and worship the Lord will fall. And in fact, like Babylon, it will double fall. Stay tuned tomorrow. There's lots more in, in chapter 18, the uh, fall of Babylon. It goes on for 22 verses or so. Thanks for listening.